microbiome or canakana pioni roti bari, the gut liver access, cut permeability, the microbiome, see a lay. It encouraged liver to store more fat and then stay to hepatitis. Now these effects are presynodic receptors here, not general bilacid homeostasis or low beta. To do derangement, it can cause inflammation, fibrosis, deranged lipid metabolism, deranged glucose, and atherogenesis to beta. That's why effects are pathway, not general antagonistic. Now, other endocrinopathies are also a risk factor for fatty liver. If you can't find anything, you look for endocrine-causing factors like hyperuricemia, or if you can't find anything, you look for endocrine-causing factors like hyperuricemia, hypothyroidism, obstructive sleep apnea. You need a good sound sleep, about six to eight hours a day, and PCOS also. So, with an atypical NEF and a lean NEF, NEF or NEF to be so, you know, will send so, no, it will be deficiency, no, no, and then diet, no, you know, alcohol, no, liposomal acid lipase deficiency, no, since that they are, no, and that they are. Progression to NEF, when I have a NEF or an NEF or a cardiovascular risk to my baby, no, no, nephalasema, yachema, yanime, especially genetically predisposed. Pemplar 3, the Maria, they will progress to nets. What will lead to liver damage, necrosis, and then fibrosis, leading to cirrhosis, and then ACC rigs. Taja, complicates, nephal can be complicated by ACC. GMSO and steatosis are progressive to nets with a little fibrosis, but some can progress very fast to advanced fibrosis and even from mild fibrosis to cirrhosis. So, the natural history is not linear or predictable. In some cases, it can be very aggressive, leading to cirrhosis, and then even the ACC risks. Before cirrhosis, you can have ACC from NASH. So these drugs, so now we are finding a lot of chemicals to use as a drug in this NEFA. And by using these pathophysiology pathways that I have mentioned, we are trying to have new armaments for the fight of NEFA. And the mechanism of pharmacology treatments of NEFA are blocking the previous pathways that I have mentioned. But as I have said, pathways are the coup de la mho. Pathways are the amya iwe. Involved in the organ, the yellow pancreas, the liver, the mho to. This energy utilization, utilizing tissues, the akonom paani re. Neural pathways are the paani re. And not only glucose, or not only lipids. The ro ye intermediary metabolites are the, they are, Ligands in a cloner. So it is a bit complicated pathway. But you know what a bajo complicate maps of kuma complicate lara. So there's advancement of science. When I generate a multiple omics, I read in a general team and general motor time by my name. So the young generation Takero Lok Jarome a piney but a name in no medicine nala go catholic. So in conclusion the NEFL is a complex, multifaceted pathogenesis involving this interconnecting interplay of genetics, metabolic factors, environment, manifesting this clinical phenotype. As you know, we are what we eat. Ko basathethera ko ya metabolic fate Ko moda zaye yes dilo seto sister neship chema. But if you look carefully, sara gen two o. Your genetic backup. Mwe gara bembladri ne laye chances te tell. Not only genetics, your environment also. Sia wen lo vinyak kongom eya u. Your environment and your job also is how to ma. Gena cause of stereos is whatever you how to how you behave your diet. Ha? Ta jiao. Ta pi bi ne ro. I think we can 
unwind the complexities of NAFA and give you a more comprehensive or clearer advice. general advancement in this field, I think we can have a better understanding and we can serve our patients better. So with that, thank you very much. Welcome from Florida. Okay, thank you very much. Seafirm, caring for well-being.